Hey everyone, Alicia here from Stretch It App, and on today's episode of Stretch It Exercises, we learn how to use the chair in order to provide a nice deep stretch for our shoulders and upper back. If you have a chair and you're looking to improve your shoulder and upper back flexibility, if you're training back bends, or maybe you just need a more therapeutic stretch for this area of your spine. If you find that you're sitting at the desk a lot and the shoulders are rounding, if your chest is tight, if your shoulders are tight, this is a great way to access, to target those areas that you have the support from the chair and can just indulge in the stretch itself. So you need a chair. The one I have is padded. I would recommend that the chair that you're using, it could be a sofa or a softer chair, but if it is not, please make sure that you roll up a mat and place it on the chair seat's edge or that you place a rolled up towel or pillow so that you're not jamming your back into the wood or even metal, depending on whatever material the chair is made out of. I like to start with my back up against the chair, lean back, step both feet forward and just hang out here. You might have the back of your head placed against the chair's seat. You might have your head leaning against the chair's seat but this is where you start to wiggle your hips further down and lift the gaze up now depending on how wide your chair back is will determine how successful you are in catching the wrist behind you in this way you could press the shoulders down keep the lock behind and now begin to drop your hips you might just want to lift and lower to ease into the stretch because this can be quite intense if it's your first time doing it maybe you lower even more and just push your arms down getting a nice shoulder stretch and while you're keeping your shoulder blades on the seat of the chair you lower your pelvis down you could even simply just place your hands behind your head a great way also to access the shoulders to get that chest nice and open while lowering your pelvis you could also rock your pelvis side to side you can lift and lower it even experimenting with different parts of your spine. So you saw that I shimmied up higher. I have my hands behind the head for support. And now the edge of the chair is more so lower mid back, not completely high mid. And that's another portion of the spine that you can target. You can lift, shimmy down further and get close to the more upper part of your back. And to exit, make sure you lift, tuck the toes, hands down and roll forward. Or if you need something easier, you might just find the hand down and slide off. So make sure you have a smooth exit strategy because if it's your first time doing the stretch, it can be quite intense. Make sure you don't drop your hips so far down that you shock yourself into the stretch, ease into it, and you will be in shoulder and upper back bliss. If you would like to improve your flexibility, make sure you check out our classes on our app. You can check out the link down below in the description box. And if you want to see more videos like these on YouTube, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel.